October may be over, but November's really boring, so I'm gonna be taking you through my whole month as a first-time scare actor. I've read the rules, gotten training, and experienced my first time in my probably forever spot. Now we're on week two, the last two-day weekend where I'll be beginning to improve my dance skills, unique dialogue, and two-by-four standing. None. None? Where am I? Mercy Q host. Uh... <laughs> Mercy Q host. I'm a fucking, I'm a, I hate customer service. I'm horrible at customer service. So is that like a promotion or a demotion? You got mercy cue today, right? Uh, yeah. All right. I have I'll, no idea how to do it. I'll but... have uh, Amber show you around. So right. yeah, she's, she's the expert. So she'll oh, be. Oh, that's a big step. Yeah. Now. Oh, promotion? Yeah. yeah you exciting. must have been doing good with the customers on the rails. I heard so, that good for you. Well. Yeah. Yay, yeah. yeah, it's not a regression. <laughs> if you go back down, then oh my god. This may have been a step up, apparently a big yeah, step up. up. But I had a couple questions still. What am I gonna do now? I don't know my spot. I don't know how to do Q host. I don't I don't know how to do that. I guess there is a whole there's there's a whole other goal for this episode. I had full confidence in myself. Obviously. Trust me. Something cold. Hey. I don't really care. I'm like, okay, how'd that happen? Family wizard is what I'm getting back. That was great. <laughs> oh my god, I remember that. Yeah. Hey! Hi! Hey, you still running down and take back in? No, I'm doing I'm the mercy two Yeah. Believe it or not, the cow is not part of my cow. I'm liking the look anyway. Mercy two most. There's no character description. Specific character assistance. Uh, no, I'm mercy too much. Okay. So top is a cat. Hi, oh, you look great. Oh, I did. I can't be with you anymore. Oh, okay. I'm, the, I'm at the beginning of mercy. People gotta go through me before they go through anything else. Technically, they have to go through me first, and then you. Yeah. <laughs> I really had to do that to him. Just burst his bubble right there. I can't help it. Oh, you'll be in the cage. You'll love that. The cage? Um, you're gonna really want to be physical in there. He's he's not helping my anxiety. We're gonna ignore what he's saying. <laughs> got you. Got you. We'll guard it with our lives. <laughs> looking looking good. Looking good. Look at us. Oh my god. So fantastic. <laughs> that is, that is so cool. Is it? Yeah. yeah. supposed to mean anyways i found the dude who's gonna be next to me and he doesn't know what to do either yay we're both screwed yeah. 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 Mercy 
Yeah, I'm about to take you to the spot. You might be where I'm at. Where are you? Attic. Oh, Attic. That's you want to see? One. You want to see my spot? Right here? You like you climb up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, well, I want to see it. Yeah. What he does. Dude, I want to see. Yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah. It's fine. We got time. Just go. Let's go. His, his 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 spot was cool. Honestly, the only reason I included this whole segment was to uh, to watch that. That was definitely my fault. 100% my fault right there. It is up to you guys to make Friday night a legendary night. It is only our second Friday night of many to come. One, two, three. First order of business, figure out where the hell to put my camera. Okay, well, this is going to be a big issue because that elevator right there is a very unique asset to Mercy. It's one of the staples of the Mercy entrance. Look at this. We're gonna have to f oh, it wait. goes that way. Oh. We were pushing it the wrong way. We know what we're doing tonight, but this will be fine. So it closes like this. Yeah. I mean, either I can also talk to you. Like, yeah, it's like I don't want to do it. Camera angle number two. While doing this, I had a little bit of a surprise. I still don't know my sound cues like at all. I know no sound cues because there's sounds everywhere all the time. And there goes the camera. First group of the night. Yay! Anyways, it was pretty dead this Friday. Before you go. Parrish was at the time, so I had no idea if he was breaking me or not when he came in. I just kind of assumed he was. And then I got lost again! Yay! But it got stuck, so I had to keep him there in line. 
Okay, so first couple people down, and it's been... All right, I'm not doing bad, but like I need to quit repeating words a ton. It fits the psych patient aesthetic, sure, but everything sounds unnatural when you say it a ton of times. And then I repositioned the camera to an even worse spot because in the middle of it, I heard people coming from slaughter. Is Amber. Who is at the door then? He never came in. A couple of the people here are really convinced there's a ghost in this haunt. And honestly, with some of the footage I've gotten, maybe? Or maybe I'm just stupid. Maybe a little bit of both. And honestly, Amber's jump-ins were super funny and kind of really helpful. The night from then on pretty much flew by, and by the time I checked the clock, it was almost over. <laughs> camera on a seesaw right now what is happening and there it goes again damn it jason group got there pretty quickly afterwards so that night overall was a great success i really felt like i learned my role and was in the process of perfecting it with what i learned that night saturday should be a breeze skipping the speech tonight and jumping right into it because tonight's gonna be a long night and I've got some new guests. Break 
Saturday night was like Friday. I was pumping out the groups, I was coming up with some awesome new dialogue, and I was enjoying myself. people that play along with me. And then, everything went to hell. The downfall started when the group of 13 showed up. Before I send you to the elevator and the rest of your family, you are probably already dead, but I won't let you know that I can never tell you about that. Sorry, I'm being a lot. And I'm going to go out of my mouth really, really, really fast. Because they are wild treasures. There's a reason we're in here. Obviously, okay? We've got some problems. Send them through! Send them through! Send them through! Send them through! Somehow, I found time to move my camera to the outside. Oh, oh, and also, um, when I had my camera inside the whole time, outside, I figured out the pill bottles were very resilient. This was my first ever experience with the conga line, aka a line that never stops and just keeps going. At this point in the night, I was getting really sick of childish drunks.
snitches, disloyal boyfriends, overly loyal boyfriends, girl bosses, drunks, annoying children. You see it all there. You see it all. And when it was getting really, really backed up and I had to constantly deal with a rotation of these really annoying people, my mood did not do well. Oh, that's new. I should explain that because it confused me a little while as to why they were there. There are two house leads every single night. They check up on everyone in the haunt and stick around in certain areas for a long period of time. And the two house leads for that night really liked sticking around Mercy Q, which was fun. Oh, and that's Crow, a roamer. Um, sometimes he comes in too when he's in costume. At the time though, I didn't know why they were there. I didn't know that's what house leads and roamers did, so I was personally really confused. I named that leg Debra, by the way. Debra will be a very recurring character in this series. I go. I can't. I can't remember what he told me, honestly. Ah! There he goes, chucking the pill bottles too. It's catching on. We're just gonna skip to the end of my last break at around 11.30 because these last two rotations was just a mix of me becoming a very pissy haunt actor. As my first longer night that I didn't really expect to be a longer night, I was having a little bit of a hard time getting through the constant lines and screaming and pushed back end time. And by my last break, the very front was finished, which meant I had about 40 minutes until I was done. But those 40 minutes had the most amount of people in them, and I was really having a hard time crawling through it.
Oh, also, I came up for a reason as to why my breaker was a skeleton. From now on, T-Bone is radiation man. Spent a little too much time in the radiology rooms. The doctor, a little too much in the system, By that I mean they reach their hands through the little bar cages and flip the notch themselves. Actually like unlocking it is a little bit of an overstatement, but it was still really annoying. That's what it felt like when they did it. I just really pissed off at them. As we got later into the night and we got more crowded and people were getting more angsty, they just started not listening to my instructions at all. Honestly, I didn't know how I felt about the pig coming into Mercy, but you know, whatever. Last group was outside, so I did not care at that point. reverted to one of my safety lines and everyone else is coming what the hell
guys in beautiful headshot right there. Thank God it was. That was a fantastic shot. And that was also the end of the night. Finally, that last 40 minute push felt like it was going on forever. I never thought it would end. And by the time they all finally got there, I was just so, so relieved. And honestly, really proud that I just did it. I got through it. Even if my dialogue started to get stale at the end, I started to get a little bit mad and I was less original, I, I did it. I pushed through. Getting out at 12.30, I felt completely spent, and that would be the most worn down I'd be all season. Or so I thought. Because next week would be a whole other beast. Talk about this line, not even close. And the fun wouldn't just be two days long anymore.